What's going on guys and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's teaser video. Yes, you guys heard that correct. We finally have teasers coming back on Scott Games and it's pretty exciting. So, as you guys all know, the Five Nights at Freddy's, the Twisted One novel was announced. We had a few little, you know, info on it, a little bit of info on it, a few screenshots and stuff like that, and a release date, which is June 27th, 2017. Obviously, that's in two weeks, and that's all we really had. Well, Scott Games has just updated, and Emil Mako, the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's, actually found some brand new images on the website, and I'm going to be going over them with you guys in this video. Before we get into that, of course, if you guys want to see more Five Nights at Freddy's content, be sure to drop a like on the video down below. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this by showing some support. Anyways, though, I'm gonna go ahead and read the information for the book right now in case you guys don't know what it's about. So, it says it's been a year since the horrific events at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and Charlie is just trying to move on. Even with the excitement of a new school and a fresh start, she's still haunted by nightmares of a mass murder and four gruesome animatronic puppets. Charlie thinks her ordeal is over, but when a series of bodies are discovered near her school, bearing wounds that are disturbingly familiar, she finds herself drawn back into the world of her father's frightening creations. Something twisted is hunting Charlie, and this time, if it finds her, it's not letting go. So, that is the synopsis of the story, and now let's get into the new screenshot. So, the first one we have here, I'm gonna start simple, alright? This is the one on Scott Games. It is official, guys. It is Freddy. Now, this isn't any version of Freddy. You will notice about these, these next few animatronics. They are all the twisted versions of the animatronics. So, when they say something twisted is hunting her, this is what they mean. So, we have three revealed so far, by the way, though. This is Twisted Freddy, though. As you guys can see, he looks disgusting. It's a very, like, low shot of him, unfortunately. But you can kind of see that he's got, like, these bubbles growing on him. It looks like kind of an infection. He's got giant claws. So, he kind of looks like the Nightmare version of him, but he's actually not... And he just looks terrifying. And strangely enough, it looks like he's like coming out of lava. I don't I don't know if this is, you know, completely candid story. Because if you guys don't know, the creator of these actually has a Debian art page. And I guess they were like creating them for quite a while here. But basically, though, this is one of her drawings, and it looks pretty freaking cool. Anyways, though, after that, we have the next one, and uh this is Twisted Bonnie. So Twisted Bonnie takes the nightmare sort of you know animatronic to a whole nother level. Seriously. This thing is insane. So first of all, take a look at its claws. They're curved inward like they've been outgrown. Not only that though, it has spikes on its freaking shoulders. That's how you know this thing means business. You don't, you're not even allowed to touch its shoulder because you'll die. That is how terrifying this thing is. Not only that though, if you look at its ears, they're also kind of like bent to the side and just completely like broken looking. It has some like burn wounds on it. And it also has this weird like infection stuff growing on it. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's because it's like a twisted animatronic. I mean, really, we don't know anything about these animatronics. We just know that they are in, they're gonna be in the new novel and they could possibly be in a game, which is also crazy. Um, but take a look at his teeth. That's probably the most exciting part. This thing has like an alien syndrome or something where this thing has two mouths that are split into half. How does it even eat you like that? Like, can it control each individual mouth? Like, how does that work? I don't know, but it looks insane. But one of the weird things about this is if you guys take a look at its actual gums, well, it has gums and it has saliva. How? How does it have that if it's an animatronic? <laughs> like, you can see the metal endoskeleton in it. But it's it's drooling and it has it has gums. How is that possible? I don't know. It, it looks awesome though, and I'm just super excited to see more on it. Anyways, the final animatronic, which this is by far the most exciting one. Seriously, this thing looks absolutely insane. It looks like it's gonna be. I want this in a game. I hope he makes the twisted ones into a game and we can see the animatronic. So we have a twisted wolf animatronic. I have no idea what this thing is. It look it's a werewolf, obviously, but. It's like Foxy's competition, man. This thing is insane. It looks huge. It has obviously the gray hair all over its body. It's got one eye that's like kind of poking out more than the other. It's got the sharp teeth again. It's got the gums again. And it has a weird like glitched out stomach. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Like, I don't know if that's actually canon or not, or I don't know what that is, but it's almost glitched out like it's part of a video game or something. It's really weird. Once again, though, it has like spikes on its arms again. It's got like, it's like half metal, half animatronic. Oh, that could be what it is. Like in the middle, it's like, it's slowly transforming into like a beast or something. I don't know. That looks so awesome though. Like seriously, these animatronics look insane. And I just, I know that it's coming out for the novel, but I don't know about you guys. I really want these to be in a game because like, can you think about it? Like he could easily make fights for a twisted one. Like not easily, but I mean like in terms of like the title and that sounds awesome. And then like a game just based it off the, the, the twisted animatronics. Now, if you guys don't know, the books aren't obviously canon to the actual main story. So that's kind of why he's able to do some of the stuff that he does. But 
can you guys just think about seeing that and not only that i forgot to mention this but on the actual twisted one artwork like page you can see there's another animatronic and that's nightmare so maybe we're gonna have like a twisted version of nightmare i don't know that would be cool too dude i don't know this has got me really hyped though i, I, I don't know if you guys if you guys don't know that i haven't read the first book either and the next book actually comes out in two weeks so let me know if you guys want me to read through that and do a review on it and like do like some talk or something like that you know just kind of discussing my opinions on these because I honestly really want to know more about these twisted animatronics. So comment down below if you guys want me to read the book and do like a video on it. Comment read down below in the comment section and I will definitely do that. But guys, I'm going to end this video here. This was some insane news. Seriously, I cannot wait to see more twisted animatronics. I, I don't know if this is going to be all of them or not, but I sincerely hope that it's not because uh, I like these designs a lot. Especially, I think Bonnie's design is probably the one I'm most excited for because it's just got a very gruesome look to it. And its mouth, its mouth just looks insane. Like, and the Nightmare Trucks, like I told you guys, they weren't exactly the scariest in my personal opinion. But if the Nightmare Trucks looked like this one, like Twisted Bonnie, that would be terrifying. That would be absolutely terrifying. I don't know where Scott's going with the next game, but I hope he takes it in a direction that's a lot more scary and uh, looks a lot more like Twisted Bonnie because that looks crazy. Anyways, though, guys, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next Fine Phrase video. Peace out, guys.